My name is Todd. I'm going to show you how to install a mini lock fastener to connect a handrail to a newel post. As the head of the screw slides down the tapered keyhole slot, the two pieces draw tightly together, creating a strong connection. Determine the handrail location on the newel post. Mark top of railing height, bottom of railing, and center of post. Use the wafer cut as a template to align railing on the post. Mark center. Mark spade bit with tape to drill 3 16 deep. Drill inch and a quarter diameter by 3 16 deep hole for mini lock plate. In the center of an inch and a quarter hole, use a 5 8 spade bit to drill a 3 16 deep hole to allow clearance for the screw head to slide down the tapered slot. Insert the mini lock plate with the tapered side in and align keyhole slot vertically. Drill pilot holes for one inch screws. Wax screw threads for ease of installation. Attach the plate with the screws. The plate will be approximately a sixteenth of an inch below the surface. The plate and the screws must be flush for the handrail to fit properly. After the handrail has been cut to length, align the wafer template on the end. Drill a pilot hole for inch and a quarter screws. Drive the screw thread to within approximately one quarter inch of screw head. You may need to adjust the screw depth for final fit. Insert screw heads into mini lock plates. Apply downward pressure by tapping handrail on each side using a rubber mallet or a hammer and block of wood. Right on!
If the railing is not tight or aligned properly, remove for adjustment by tapping underneath. Adjustment is made easy by loosening or tightening screw head depth. Tighten screw if railing is too loose. Loosen screw if railing does not move down the keyhole slot. The mini lock plate can be installed in the end of the handrail and the screw into the newel post. Handrails can be easily attached to a post at an angle. There you have it. The mini lock fastener is easy to use and creates a strong and beautiful installation. Thanks for your interest.